Hello there. <clears throat> this is a review of my Georgetown Pottery G12 scuttle. Uh, this was requested by a viewer. This is the scuttle. You've been seeing it in my videos. If you've been watching my videos. Since the day after Christmas. Now what a scuttle is. It's a device that the modern scuttle, anyway, was invented to uh, keep your lather warm. Now, during the shave, now, uh, some of the older scuttles were uh, designed basically to, to keep your brush warm and therefore your lather would be warmer. And uh, to uh, soak a brush and things like that, the modern scuttle has been invented typically and basically. Uh, to take that a step further and actually allow you to create lather in it like you would in a lather bowl, but allow that bowl to be heated. And the way that it works is you have your bowl here, and now most of the modern scuttles have the little lines and the little dips, little bumps in the bottom of the bowl. I don't know if you can see that with my hands not in the way. Uh, and raised ridges. And things like that that when you uh, make lather with a brush help to or they're supposed to help to push uh, air into the lather and make the lather easier to create uh, I don't see that much of a difference in it some guys do some guys don't but I was a bowl lather from the very a bowl latherer from the very start and I have no problems with just a cereal bowl in the kitchen making lather with no ridges or bumps or anything like that so but it's to me it's really attractive regardless of whether it does anything for the lather and so I like it and would want it in a scuttle but the deal is you have a, a bowl here to make lather in but you have it's basically a bowl within a bowl I, this stopper here I'll talk a bit about that in a minute but you have a reservoir inside. It's kind of like a teapot with a bowl uh, set in it. And you pour hot water from the tap. A lot of guys use boiling water. I don't recommend it because I think sometimes boiling water can uh, cause problems and issues with lather. Some guys microwave it. These are microwave safe. I know uh, several guys that microwave them with zero issues I just use hot water out of the tap you fill this inner bowl the reservoir rather and then you plug it that helps to hold the heat in uh, a lot of the scuttles that you'll find will have a big wide opening that you can dip your brush in or a big spout here and no way to close it up so in my opinion I think this is a better design because it helps hold heat into the scuttle and then what I would generally do is is fill this reservoir as well completely with hot water as well and then I would sit it on my sink I usually sit it on a towel you know, or a washcloth you don't have to I just like sitting that it there instead of the ceramic scraping against a hard top on my counter I just to me it makes sense to protect it a little bit and uh, you load your brush up and then you take it you dump the water out of this bowl and you make your lather in the bowl like you would if you were making one with a bowl in your hand or whatever I, I generally you can hold the scuttle and do this I saw Nick Shaves do that uh, the other day on one of his videos he was reviewing the Crown King scuttle uh, and uh, I just sit it on the counter, hold it up by the handle, and make lather that way. Now, a couple of things about the features of this scuttle. First of all, it does have a handle. I like the handle a lot. I like this plug. I think it is, uh, I wouldn't want to uh, be without it. Now, if I, if I buy a model that doesn't have a plug, 
you know, I want a much greater reservoir. This has a 12 ounce reservoir. They also sell a G20, which has a 20 ounce reservoir. Depends on your needs and how many passes you make. But I could do three or four passes with this scuttle without any problems in the ladder heating department. Now this is what Georgetown Pottery calls their seconds. In other words, there's a bit of a marred feature or, or, or an imperfection on it that causes them to uh, mark them as second. Now, the imperfection on mine is that little piece of glaze, that, that little bump in the glaze didn't get completely filled in. There was a little void there. A little imperfection in the glaze that goes through to the uh, earthenware part of this vessel. That's not a big deal to me whatsoever. Matter of fact, it took me a while to even find it. And you get a substantial savings off the scuttle. Now, as for uh, the rest of it, this is a really nice weight. It's not really super heavy. And it's not really super light. In my opinion, the thickness of the walls makes a difference. This, if you get the wall too thick, then it doesn't transfer heat to the bowl as easily. Uh, and it takes more to heat it up to start with. If you get the wall too thin, it transfers heat real quickly. But it also allows the heat to dissipate very fast. The walls don't stay cool, warm, and the lather, the water doesn't stay warm inside the reservoir, and the lather doesn't stay warm. In my opinion, Georgetown Pottery has got it right. Uh, just the perfect thickness of the walls. Do uh, And I'm gauging that on the performance of this scuttle. Uh, and it's just lovely. You get several different options of finish from them. Uh, and it's just a wonderful scuttle uh, to use uh, to have warm lather for your shaves. Uh, I'd highly recommend, if you're looking at scuttles, highly recommend Georgetown Pottery. There are only a few that uh, have this type of features, particularly that plug. Uh, and uh, there are other scuttles out there with that plug, but they don't, I mean, most of them you get like one color. Uh, they're not as attractive as this scuttle by in any shape or form. When you start looking at them, uh, then you'll find that, you know, this, I think you'll find this is the best bang for your buck. Uh, I like the G12. I like the size. The 20 is a bit taller. Uh, I thought about, I will be getting another one of these. That's how much I like the product. I want a second one. Because I don't want, if anything ever happened to this one, I would miss it terribly. And so, uh, I'm going to get a second. But anyway, that's it. That's the Georgetown Pottery Scuttle. Now, if you want uh, uh, tips on how to prepare the scuttle uh, for your shave and stuff like that, I have a video on prepping the scuttle for the shave. Uh, where I show you how you to warm it up and fill it full of water and all of that. Uh, and it's on my uh, site here and I will, uh, my YouTube channel, and I'll do my best to link uh, to it in the description down below of this video. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, if you're looking at scuttles, thinking about scuttles, I hope that this video uh, gave you kind of an overview of what the Georgetown Pottery Scuttle the G12 is all about. God bless you. Later.